everybody, it's Michelle, and today I've got for you an athletic reformer Pilates workout. So it's going to be challenging. We're going to do some advanced level exercises, uh, but even more fun than just that, we're also going to add in uh, some sets of cardio off of the reformer. So have your box set up uh, next to your reformer somewhere with some space. So what we're going to do is we'll do a set of exercises on the reformer, jump off, get our heart rate going on the box. And we'll do that three times, reformer, box, reformer, box, switching back and forth. And then after that to finish, we'll do some feet and straps. Okay, so it's going to be fast pace. So let's just get right into it. So we're going to start with one red spring on, and actually we're gonna keep that red spring on the whole time. So no need to be fussing with the springs unless you really need something different for the exercise. But everything will work on that one red, okay? So we're gonna start kneeling up on your reformer. Uh, your feet can be hanging off of the back, and then just get on with your knees as far as is comfortable. So you're about hip width apart, and all we're gonna do is float one arm up, and you're gonna place a hand on your headrest, and just take a nice side bend. Good, and then let's go to the other side. Hand to the foot bar, and side bend the other direction. So your hips are staying stacked over your knees, and then it's the upper body that's moving off of center. Very good. All right, now just let your arms hang, nod your chin, round forward, and you're just gonna let your arms hang off of the reformer. If you feel like you need your hands, you can touch, but I just want you to hang down as far as you can. Now my hands are reaching the floor because I'm on this low machine, but yours might still be dangling, and then roll back up tall. Good, and let's do that again. Nod your chin. Keep your weight as much over your knees as you can so your glutes are super active. And then we're just letting the body hang. Let the head pull you forward. And then come all the way back up. Okay. So you're going to take this hand that's nearest to the headrest. It's going to come down onto your carriage. Now, the closer your body is to the foot bar, the heavier the springs will feel and the greater range of motion. So just know that if you're on the shorter side, you're going to want to get closer to the foot bar. So your hand comes down, your closest knee stays on the carriage, and your other foot is going to go up onto the foot bar parallel. All right. Now, reach your top hand up towards the ceiling. My shoulder is over wrist hip is over knee, and now we're just gonna start pushing off of that foot bar leg. Very nice. So, kind of start testing this out. If it feels way too hard on that bottom hip, it might mean that you need to scoot your supporting knee closer to the shoulder rests. If you feel like you need the support, just place your top hand on one of the shoulder rests. Yes, so we're working through the sides of the glutes and the hips on both legs. Whew, and then getting this shoulder to wake up and get ready for all the fun stuff we're gonna ask it to do in a second. Whew, so now push out there and hold. So we're gonna keep the spring tension, don't move the rest of the body, and just thread the needle of this top arm, rotate back to the front, and then return. Whew, that's a lot harder than it looks to not allow the carriage to move. Whew, so that is a ton of work for those obliques. And then down, yeah, and then especially on this supporting arm and leg, whew, to maintain that spring tension. Good, let's do that two more times. Whew, feel like your abs are carving up and around. Whew, last time. Now let's stay out here even longer. Thread the needle underneath, and then rotate to the ceiling and open the chest. Whew, do that two more times. Oof, and that bottom hip is probably burning, trying to keep the carriage still. One more time, twist, and then open, face to the front, and come all the way in. Good, now stay here. Just take your top leg off the foot bar, reach it long, and do some small little lift and lowers. Very nice, so carriage is still, staying stacked through the body. Now instead of going up and down, let's go front and back, just as far as you can go, forward and behind with that leg, without this hip coming out of position. Again, hand down or on your hip if needed. 
Now pause with the leg reaching. You're gonna bend your knee and just poke the foot under the foot bar, bring it back over the foot bar. <sighs> under and over. You can take a peek and make sure you're not gonna stub your toe on something, you might. Over, do that two more times. Under, over, <sighs> last time. <sighs> and then come all the way down. Whew. Doesn't take long to fill those glutes. Okay, so now stay facing this same direction, except we're gonna be supported on the opposite arm. So place the hand on the foot bar. You're gonna lean your weight over so that you're in a long line. So we're gonna do a little bit of a star prep, okay? Top leg is gonna reach straight through the shoulder rests, ankle supported on the headrest. Arm is long. Now start to push and pull. So we're getting away from the foot bar, stretching the springs. Very nice. Good. So you should be able to keep this long line from shoulder, hip, and knee the whole time. If that's not happening, adjust where you are side to side on the carriage. Yes. Good. So a little different because now we're pushing and pulling on the springs from a different direction with this new arm. Now get out there and hold, thread the needle in this position. Rotate, open back to the front, and then close. Good, open and twist. Good, so now the hips are extended, the body's long, so it feels different than when we threaded the needle on the other side. Good, let's do that a few more times. Reach, keep everything still. So good, now let's go in that two directional thread the needle, staying out with the carriage, rotating to the ceiling, and then rotating to the floor. Good, your spine stays fixed on that diagonal, and you just rotate the ribs and torso around it. Last one. Open back up, and then close and come all the way in. Very nice, you guys. All right, turn around, and we're gonna do all of that facing the other direction. So, get situated on your new side. Let's take a few of those side bends that we found before. So going up and over. Ah, good, you don't have to be too static with it. You can allow a nice range of motion side to side. Very good, now drop your head round forward and hang off of your carriage with your torso. Go as far as you'd like and then come back up. Doesn't have to be very big, yeah? The less that your glutes drift back over your feet, the more challenging this is through the backs of the legs. Good, let's do that one more time. Head forward, rounding off of the mat and then come all the way up. Very nice. All right, hand to the carriage. Scooch however you need to for the length of your legs, and then take this top foot to the foot bar. So my knees and my toes point forward, and then we start pushing and pulling. Out and in. Good, so use these first few reps to change your positioning if you need to. If the springs feel too light, Move your body closer to the foot bar edge of your carriage. Now push out and stay. Hold the resistance on the springs. Thread the needle, open back to the front, and then return. Push and hold, carve up and under through those abdominals. And in, so good, a few more times. So the low body is holding in that isometric contraction to let the upper body move freely. Now go in both directions, rotating to the ceiling and then rotating to the floor. Whew, that is so much harder than it looks to keep the carriage steady. Under and over, last time. And then face back to the front, come all the way in. Good, now pause here, top leg reaches over the bar. Little lift and lowers. Good, notice if you've got tension where it doesn't need to be, try to relax your neck. Whew. Now instead of up and down, brush forward and back. Now the hips don't wanna move forward and back, they stay and the leg swings. So good, now pause with the leg reaching down, bend it and then thread it 
under and over the foot bar. That's it, up and over. Good, two more times. Ooh, keep the bottom leg steady. Last one, and then come all the way down. Whew. Very good. All right, now other hand goes to the foot bar. Lean over so that you're diagonal. Top leg rests on the headrest. Okay, here we go. So starting with just the arms, for now, you have to kind of send the carriage out with that knee and ankle. Or those are the furthest points out, I guess you'd say, which feels a little funny, yeah? To send the lower body first, and then in. Good, so working the deltoids, the top of that shoulder, and then pulling yourself back. All right, now reach out and stay. Thread the needle here, rotate, open to the front, and then return. Push away, round and rotate. So now with the hips open, whew, feels totally different. Yes, push, get those obliques to twist the upper back, return and close. Okay, now this time hold and stay, and we're gonna go underneath and then rotate to the ceiling. Under and then over, good. Bottom hip and shoulder stay so strong. Get the rib cage to move as far in those two directions as you can. And then face to the front and come all the way in. Awesome, you guys. All right, it is time for our first little cardio set on the box. So let's head over there. So stand on the floor with it short ways in front of you. Stand tall, and then we're just gonna start with some nice little toe taps. Nice and easy to get us moving. So you can tap on top of the box. You can tap into the side of the box. You can do more of like a jumping tap, hopping from foot to foot, whichever you would like to do today, okay? So we'll get going here for just a little bit longer. All right, and then when you're ready, we're gonna turn this in to fully standing up on top of the box. You're gonna step up, up, and then down, down. Up and down. Your arms can be doing whatever feels like is helpful to the movement. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything in particular. Very nice. All right, now put one foot up on top and step onto that same foot a few times in a row. You can either just tap the new foot on the floor or you can go into more of like a big lunge when you drop off of it. <sighs> However big of a movement you want to do. Let's do three more. Keep your tall spine, ribs over hips, and then let's switch feet. New foot stepping off the back. <sighs> Down, up. Very good, three more. It can be a big position or just a light tap. Two, one, Whew. All right, stay up on top of your box now. Reach one foot off of the back, bend your supporting knee, lean forward and try to tap your toes as far back away from the box as you can and then stand. Other leg, tap and up. So this, the reaching leg is more of just a measure, yeah? Because the deeper you bend on this top leg, the further your back leg is gonna reach. And you can tap, not putting any weight, or if you need to, you could fully step and use the toes to help you come up, yeah? So almost simulating a single leg squat, at least on the way down. Last two, one, okay. Now, tapping off the front edge of the box. Here we go. Ooh, and then up. Now, there's no expectation of actually touching the floor on this one. We're a lot more limited in our range of motion here. So now, yes, your knees are probably gonna go beyond your toes, which is okay as long as that feels good on your knees. Yes, you can stay more upright, can lean more forward if that feels better. Very good. So again, this is working on the mobility whew, of our ankles and getting strong in these big positions. All right, so good. Okay, now move more to the center of your box and we're gonna tap one foot off the far edge, which, wow, that's a long ways away, and then step together. Other side, big tap and then in. 
So trying to touch the floor if we can. Yes, the tricky part here is that the box is so big in this direction, I have to reach pretty far to get around it. Down, up, so good. Let's do that four more times. Three, two, one, and then step on down. Oh, very nice, you guys. Who knew? This little box, we could do so much. All right, next, one last little thing here before we head back to the machine. We are gonna face the box, stand wide, slightly turned out. All we're gonna do is squat down and touch and stand. Touch and stand, nice and easy. So box is just giving us something to aim for. Now hopefully, you shouldn't have to round your back in order to touch your box. If you do, then don't quite touch the box. Don't go so low. Yes, so think of heels to the floor, chest, or heels to the floor. Hips to your heels, no kidding, heels to the floor. Oh, goodness. Hips to your heels. Now get down and stay. Put your hands firmly on the box. Take two steps out to a plank, two steps in, stand up. Down, out, out, in, in, up. That's it. So your upper body stays strong, your shoulders stay over your hands as you step out from under yourself. Okay, now you could jump instead of step out, jump instead of step back in, stand. Those are fun choices. You can also push up once you get there, stand. Yes, if you wanted to jump once you stood back up, nobody's stopping you, you can't. Ooh, so you can take all of or none of those options, pepper them in, try them once, see how it goes, plan accordingly, yes? Okay, let's do three or four more sets, maybe going for a little more speed now. So good. Ooh, two more, down, down, out, out. All right, now on our last one, stay there, and you're just gonna tap alternating sides open, close, tap the foot as far to either side as you can. All right, now instead of tapping, plank jack out and in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, jump in and stand up. Whew. Awesome, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, I'm out of breath, that's good. That means we got somewhere. All right, let's head back to our machine. All right, so coming back to the reformer, get onto all fours, facing towards the pulleys, fit your thumbs in front of the shoulder rests, and then scoot your knees back so your feet will be dangling off of the carriage. That's totally fine, or they might be on the platform. Now just take a couple cat-cow stretches here, stretch out the abdominals, and then round the spine. Good, so go in those two directions a few more times. Very good. Shoulder blades draw in to help you look up and then feel the front of the body, those abdominals shorten to fold you. Very nice. All right. Now, lengthen your spine out long. Place one heel back on the uh, foot bar behind you, right in line with that hip joint. Okay, now I'm gonna press out and keep my shoulders on top of my wrists. Okay, if it's feeling too hard, scoot your bottom knee further back and your hands further back on the carriage and the springs will feel a lot less intense, okay? And then the same is true of scooting back, it'll make it more challenging. So find your sweet spot, <sighs> out and in. Okay, now if this is going pretty well, I want you to take the opposite arm as the leg that's pressing and see if you can raise it off of the carriage. Ooh, so now we're just relying on those two limbs, the bottom arm and leg for three, for two, and then last one. Whew. All right, place the hand back down. Ooh, very nice. Okay, hover the knee. Press out with one leg again, and let's turn this into a stretch. So let your bottom knee come forward, hands press out, and see if you can get your hips to the heel, and then draw the carriage back. And do that again. So the back leg can just stay long. 
Think about squeezing the glutes, almost imprinting your low back to open up that bottom thigh. Good, do that two more times. Glide and stretch, it's almost like a pigeon stretch on steroids. Last one. And then come all the way in. All right, now let's switch to our toes. So go to the ball of your foot, press out to straight, and we're gonna do one calf raise while we're out here. Drop your heel over the bar, push away, and then bend. Four movements, one, two, three, and four. So good, reach, lower, lift, and return. Keep the hip square, that glute has to stay super active as the heel drops over the bar. And that's harder than it looks to keep everything aligned on that little heel drop. Now the next time you're out there, stay and do a few extra of those calf raises. Ooh, especially the shoulders have to keep working. Two more, back and forth, draw the ribs up and then come all the way in. All right, next, so we're gonna get even trickier, okay? So let's give it a try, be bold. If it doesn't work, modify for yourself, okay? So now I want you to push out just like we did, and I want you to just get the hang of letting your bottom knee come off of the carriage, which I know sounds crazy. So I want you to tip your foot towards the springs and post up on your shin and then come back down. Do that again, just roll so that your kneecap comes off of the mat, okay? That's gonna be the initial movement here. Very good. So now roll onto the shin and see if you can get your whole leg off the carriage, put it back down. Do that again. So see how you kind of roll to your shin first? It makes it a little bit easier rather than trying to pick the whole shin up at once. So roll, drop the toes, lift. Very good. Try that one more time. Lift, let the hips come as high as you need them to. Whew, and then bend your back knee and rest. Okay, so now that we kind of know how that feels, we're gonna round the back and let the carriage come under us, hike the hips even more. Let's try. Push out, I roll off my shin, let the carriage come under me, nose to knee, lengthen back out and touch, and then bend. Whew, was that so crazy? Let's try again. One, drop the toes, post on the shin first, then let the leg hover, and then roll back through to come down. Yes, one, tip the shin, then lift and pike. Very good, and then come down and relax. Whew. All right, you guys, we're gonna try one last very tricky variation. So this foot, is, or this leg, is never gonna come back down. So. Watch a few times if you'd like, and then try it yourself. We're gonna press out, pike up. Now, when I drop my hips, I'm gonna angle my free foot off to the opposite side, and then pike back up. Drop and twist, and lift, good. So I reach the foot, bend the knee. Two more times, over, up, last one, and then set the shin down, and come all the way in. Whew. All right, sit back. I did warn you, we were gonna get a little crazy. All right, sit back in a little shell stretch. You can roll your wrists, whew, if you'd like. All right, you guys. Okay, let's do all of that on the opposite side. So, fit the hands wherever works for you. New heel back. Here we go. We go out and in. Oh, good. So you wanna feel like that leg is right about at hip height, right in line with the spine as that knee gets fully straight. Good, and the angles at the hip and at the shoulder should stay the same on the supporting limbs. Okay, now if you're ready for that challenge, opposite arm as pressing leg is gonna be off of the mat. Good for those shoulder and hip stabilizers on the two joints left behind. Woo, that's so hard. Three, two, last one. Whew, and then come on down. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's take our little stretch while we're here. This is like our little, our little peace offering to get us through this one. So push out, press the carriage out, sit your hip to the heel, and then under. 
Good, keep going. You can just leave the back leg long. Whew. And then just saw the carriage out and in a few times. All right, two more. Okay, last one. Come all the way in. All right, next we go on our toes. Here we go, follow the foot on. I feel like this is a little trickier. The hip gets slightly more extended here, out and in. Good, oh, and I forgot, calf raise at the top. Ha, my bad, in and out. Push and hold, lower and lift, and then return. Good, so on that quick little lowering and lifting, the carriage moves in and out like an inch or so. Yes, that's tricky to stabilize against. All right, now the next time you're out there, hold and stay and do that back heel a couple times all by itself. Yeah, so hands behind the shoulder rests is a little less intense. So if you start getting tired, move the hands back. Two, like me, <laughs> last one, and then come all the way in. Whew. All right, okay. Now starting to go into that pike, let's just practice, practiced? Let's just practice getting the knee off of the carriage first. All right, so here we go. We're still on our toes. We push out. Now I just roll up to my shin and then come down. Try that again, roll to the shin and then down. So my toes drop to the floor and my knee comes off. Yes, that is plenty of work if you just wanna stay with that, all right? The next level up is to let the whole leg leave and then return. <sighs> leave and then return. Try that one or two more times till you feel like you've got it. You have to maintain the tension on the springs so the carriage doesn't come flying underneath you <sighs> and then come in. Whew, amazing, okay. Next, we go into our pike, ready? We're almost done here, I swear. Here we go, push out. Now I lift and pike and let the carriage come in, reach away and then return. So good, one, pike and lift, two, lower, three and four. So good, let's do that two more times. Spine is rounding. It's that same rolling up off of the shin that we tried, up and then return. Oh, so good. All right, guys, our wrists are gonna get a break here in a second, I promise. All right, last one, letting your foot go off to the opposite side, all right? So this working bottom leg is not gonna touch the entire time. Here we go, push out, we pike and round, and then drip the foot off and back. And back, two more, reach, last one, and then lengthen and come down. Okay, sit back, stretch it out. So good, you guys, those are not easy at all. So very well done. All right, back to the box, ready, go. All right, so facing away from your box this time, stand tall, long back. We're just gonna sit on the box and we're gonna stand up. So whatever your arms need to do to help you or to not help you. Now, hopefully you can keep your back pretty darn long, yes? But just how, you, how would you sit down and how would you stand up, yeah? Down and up. Now, if that chair feels like, that chair, if the box feels like it's too far away, then you can stop before you touch it. No big deal. Whew. All right, now you're welcome to just keep going with our sit to stand, that's great. Or we're gonna try to lift one foot up, sit down on one foot, stand up on two. Sit down on one foot, stand up on two. Ooh. But we have the box, we know it's there, so we can kind of have that relief of at the bottom, like, Whew, and then stand. Yes, if that doesn't feel good, maybe just lift one heel up as you sit down. That'll put a little extra weight on the single leg. All right, next, down on two legs, up on one leg. Sorry, we knew it was coming, right? <sighs> down on two, up on one. Oh, don't be afraid to use those arms. <laughs> They're there for a reason. Use 
squeeze them and then down. Again, you can stand up with one heel up. That would be getting us halfway there. Let's do one more time on either leg. <laughs> Doesn't have to be pretty. You can also make weird noises. Hiya. Okay. Whew. Amazing, you guys. Okay. Next, <laughs> just for a second, let's try down on one, up on one. Don't hate me. Here we go. Get it over with. Down on one, up on the same one. Whew. Down on one, up on the same one. Whew. You could also go down on one, switch to stand up on the other one. That would kind of give either leg a break. So you do whichever. Just go down on one leg, up on one leg, and you can flail your arms, ah, and then just sit down on your box. Oh my goodness. Okay, take a breather. Okay, one last thing here before we head back to the reformer is come on back up. Maybe step away a little bit further from your box. We're gonna squat down and place our hands on the floor. So it's kind of one more level up of what we did before, placing the hands on the box. Hands to the floor. Step one foot at a time up onto the box. Step back down, drop your hips, lift your chest, stand up. Down, back, back, in, in. Now here, we don't wanna lift our butt first. We drop our butt and lift our uh, chest first. Whew. Back, back, in, in, up. Amazing, you guys. Okay, now, if you'd like, we can go into a push-up here, which is much harder than having our hands on the box. Hands on the box is easier than a regular push-up. Feet on the box is harder than a regular push-up. Whew, and stand. Yes, so this is just continuing what we did before with our hands on the box, but now we've flipped it around. All right, we're gonna do a couple more. Last crazy thing, if you want, you can jump your feet to the box. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but you can. Hiya! And then do your push-up. Jump back, Whew. stand, down. You can do it, go, jump, down. Just pick your feet up so that they can come down onto the box. Hiya, down, Whew. two more times. Down, jump, in, up, last time. Whew. Okay, and then sit on your box. I think we've earned it. Whew. Amazing, okay, grab some water. Get ready, and we're gonna head back to the reformer for more, okay? All right, you guys. So next, coming back to the reformer, we are going to advance uh, what we kind of started with, with that star prep. So now we're going to do the star, so the whole thing, okay? So we're gonna come on to our carriage, facing one side, closest hand to the front half of your foot bar. Okay, now you're gonna stagger your feet. So your closest leg to the shoulder rest, that foot steps forward. The other foot is gonna go to the back shoulder rest. So hold with two hands if you need to. Both feet are flat with the edges of the feet lined up. All right, now drop your hip, take the arm on your side, and we're gonna go out and in. Look familiar? Yes, so it's the exact same movement that we did on our knees. We just have left support. If that's too much, put both of your hands on the foot bar and just be rotated. Yeah, it's all good. Let's do that two more times. Open. You can also roll up like a sticky mat and pad under your hand if you feel like you need that, okay? Come down. Whew. That's the thing about the advanced work. There's a lot of it supporting ourselves on our arms. So the only way is just to do it, and I know it's difficult. So good job for trying, okay? All right. So. Next, we're going to add on. So just like we did those thread the needles, same thing, except we're also gonna be piking our hips, which actually makes it kind of more doable because our legs help us, okay? So I'll, sh let's sh I'll show you the modified version first. So if you need to keep two hands on, yes, you're gonna drop your hips, you're gonna push out as far as you can, pike your hips up and down, and then pull your body forward, okay? Push out, pike, lower, and pull, yes? Now it's the same action with the one arm up. We push out, pike the hips, thread the needle, and look upside down at your feet, open back to that star shape, and then close the carriage. Do that again. 
open the carriage, round and pike, bring the feet under you, that's a break for your arm, open and then close. Awesome, you guys, last one. Open, pike and round, return, and then come in. Oh, amazing, okay, come down. Whew. All right, shake it out, do a little wave or a little circle for your hands. All right, hate to break it to you, we're still on our hands, except now, facing forward, we'll take a little break, so we'll do something facing the foot bar before we do the other side for our star, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of control back, if that sounds familiar to you. So balls of the feet on, I like to do this externally rotated, if parallel feels better for you, great. Just make sure the knees don't lock out. It's kinda easier to do that when you're parallel. All right, so turn out, you can do this with bent or with straight legs to start. Bent is a little easier. So now, my, I have a little space between the shoulder rest and my pelvis. My fingers are off of the front whew, of the shoulder rest. So my elbows are bent. Now, I'm gonna start with straight legs and see how it goes. All I'm gonna do is push, kinda do a tricep press to get your hips off the mat, and then just set yourself back down. Whew, do that again. If that doesn't feel good on your shoulders, you can skip this part, up and then down. So the goal would be to keep the carriage pretty darn still underneath you, yeah? And it's the same work if your knees are bent, just a little bit less intense on the hip flexors, okay? Let's do that three more times. So this is a lot of work for the lower abs and the hip flexors. All right, now get up there and stay. You're gonna push the carriage out, scoop your tail under and open your hips and then draw back to neutral. So carriage goes out, hips go forward and then they return to each other. Yeah, hands and hips go away and then back to each other. <sighs> away and then back, so good. Three more, try to articulate the spine, scoop from your tail. Last one. <sighs> Ooh, and then come on down. Ooh, so nice. All right, that was our little break from the star. Let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, oh, so turn it around. New hand, forward on the foot bar. Closest foot goes front, other foot back. Do this with two or with one hand on the bar. Here we go, squeeze your glutes, open and close. So this top arm just lifts until it gets about in a long line with the bottom arm. It doesn't, arm, it doesn't have to be a big, fancy, flourishy move. Yes, two more. You can also modify and do again what we did at the beginning of class and come down by doing the prep. Yeah, totally fine. All right, next we pike and we rotate. Two hands on or one hand off. Here we go. Push away, pike the hips up and rotate. Now look where that hand is reaching. Open and then pull back to the start. Again, I make space away from the foot bar. I round under, return, and then close the carriage. One or two more times, however many you've got left in you. Under, open, and close. Let's do one more. We can do one more. Open. Under, out, and in. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, it's good to do these hard exercises. Whew. Don't always get to do them all the time, right? So here's our chance. All right, so good. Back to the box for one last burst. Almost done. All right, you guys, we've made it to our final little burst on the box, okay? So stand next to your box sideways this time. Step your closest foot onto it and then bend down into a squat and then just stand up on the box, okay? Step down, step up and up. Very nice. So hips try to stay relatively square, up and down. Good. Now obviously this top hip and knee are getting into a deeper flexion then the bottom one. So this will be kind of the leg that determines how low down you can go. Very nice. Now at the bottom, let's do two pulses. One, two, stand. Try to go equally heavy on both the feet on both of those pulses. Down, down, up, down, down, 
up, last one, up, and then stand on the box, scooch over, and we'll do the other side. Here we go. Okay, it's our last set being on the box. So let's just give it all and then we can be hooped and we're about to get our feet in the straps. So that'll be our reward. So look forward, look forward to that. Woo. Okay, now we add down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, stand, down, down. So good, last one. Now stand up, step to the middle of your box. Now we're gonna alternate, step to one side, come up, other side, down, and up. Drop, stand, down, up, so good. Yes, if you're starting to hyperventilate, close your lips, breathe through your nose, exhale out your mouth. All right, now stick with this, this is amazing, or you can hop, to the other side, hop to the other side. So you get a little second of air time, swinging your arms feels pretty good to switch. So good, last three, last two, last one. Whew. All right, amazing. Okay, very last one. Stick with this if this was working for you, okay? Here we go. We're gonna stand up on top of the box. We're gonna jump to the floor with both feet at once. Ready? Jump down. Now, pick your feet up high, jump together. Jump down, jump up, down, up. If this is too crazy, you can also stay in your squat and just alternate tapping one foot in and out, okay? Let's do five more. Four. Knees stay bent, three. Two, last one. Oh, and then relax. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, amazing. See, it's hard for me too, it's just hard. All right, sweet. Let's head back to the reformer, grab some water if you need it. All right, you guys, now we get our reward. Let's get our feet in the straps. Well, one foot in one strap actually, so staying on this uh, lighter spring, we're just gonna do a single leg in the strap. All right, so come on down onto your backs. Grab one strap. I'm gonna do my right foot first. You can do whichever. So same strap is gonna go on the same foot. So for me, right strap, right foot. Whew. All right, so now take this free leg and you're gonna take it under the rope, cross your ankles, Externally rotate and just kind of let that top leg relax. It feels pretty great, okay? It just gets to chill. So the arms can come down, be pretty neutral, and then we're just gonna lift and lower the legs. Nice and easy. So with the springs being as light as they are, it's a lot of work for the front of the body. Yes, down and then up. Keep my strap from making noise. Very good, so the lower the legs go, the more it's up to the abdominals to hold them rather than the rope, okay? Now the other challenge is to keep your legs on center because we're getting this pull from off to the side. So a little extra work for that inner thigh on the strap leg. Now start going in a slightly circular movement, almost like an oval shape, and just keep going in that same direction. So let the feet float off to one side, over to the other and down, yeah? You don't want your feet to go below your hips. If they do, this rope is gonna get very close to your face. So the legs don't have to go super low, yeah? And it's okay if your pelvis rolls a little bit off side to side. Some good work for those obliques and the abdominals, okay? Not a huge roll, but just a little shift of the weight. Now reverse and go the other way. Circle around and then down. Circle around and then down. So good, you guys. All right, now pause in the middle. Not easy on these light springs. We're gonna do a rollover. So float your legs up. Now you're gonna imprint and roll off of the mat until you get to the shoulder blades. Try to tap the stopper by the time you get to the top. Now roll back through your hips and then lower the legs forward. 
do that again. Now this is light. So if you're having trouble, just do a very small pelvic curl. That is great. That's going to get us going in this direction. Yeah. So we roll right up and then right down. Good. A few more times. Kind of like a happy medium for like roll over on the mat. We have just enough help. Whew. Let's do that one more time. So good. All right. Now take that leg out from under the rope, reach it forward as if it had a strap too. So my ankles are together. Now we're going to do long spine with this one strap setup. Okay. So very tricky, but I know we can do it. So lift the legs up. My ankles are together. I roll over through center, even though just one leg has the strap. Now separate both legs to hip width apart roll back down through the spine and try to make the legs stay side by side and then push forward and then bring the feet together. Whew, do that again. I hinge at the hips, tuck and roll over, open and then lower down. Whew, good. And then after the legs lower, connect the feet. Whew, one more time. Lift, Use those abs to leave the mat, separate to hip width, really use the pressure of the arms, roll down and then reach. Okay, now let's reverse that. Keep the legs hip width apart and lift, curl off the mat to the shoulders. Ooh, that's even harder. Feet together, roll down and lower. Whew. Okay, couple more, separate. This is so tricky to make the legs go at the same tempo. Woo, bring them together and then lower down. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just know what you're striving for and do your best. Last one, up and curl in and roll down. All right, you guys, let's stretch out this strap leg. So place your free foot on the foot bar, reach your leg long. Now the more bent your bottom leg gets, the more stretch your top leg gets. So your leg on the bottom will kind of dictate how much stretch you've got here. Good, you can kind of push and pull in and out of the stretch. Find one place and hold it. You can grab the rope if you want a little more assistance. And then maybe take your leg out to the side to stretch your inner thigh. Now again, you can try to sink all the way to the bottom to get more stretch and then take your leg across, maybe push out with your bottom leg a little bit, switch the rope to the other hand, Ooh, and then find your stretch here. This one tends to be a little tighter. That's it, you can kind of turn out your leg and bend it slightly to get more piriformis stretch. Yeah, just kind of play around with that angle of your leg, see what gives you the best Ooh, spot. All right. Whew. Let's take that one off, switch it for our other strap. If I can find my strap I put down, there we go. All right, so new foot, for me it's my left foot. In, right leg crosses, squeeze the ankles, and then we lift and lower. That's it, good. So really feel that spinning in both hips, suctioning the legs together, Whew. working into those deep rotators. Very nice. All right, now start to go in that kind of oval, circular, ovular, I don't know if that's a word, oval, circle, up and over. Yes, so you can get a little bit of a roll to one side of the hips, not too much. And then go the other way. And up. Whew, so that is a lot of abdominals. Ooh, feels good on the back of your sacrum though. You kind of rolling, it's almost like a little massage for it. Good, now reverse directions. Circle the other way. Very good. All right, now last one. End up with your legs on center and we're gonna roll over. Lift, imprint and scoop off of the mat. And then roll back down, top to bottom and then press. Good, lift, curl over, roll, 
and then lower. So the slower this is in both directions, the harder it is. So there's no hurry. Woo, so much harder to go slow. Down and then lower. All right, now that's gonna feel like a breeze now that we try the long spine. So take that leg out, ankle side by side. Inhale and lift, exhale, tuck and roll. It's that same movement through the spine. Separate to hip width, roll down, and then press and reconnect the legs. Good, two more and then we'll reverse it. Open. Now we have a good view of the legs at least, so that helps to have that visual feedback, see what's happening. Ooh, one more time, up, scoop and roll, lead with the tailbone. All right, okay, now keep the legs separate. I hate to break it to you, this way's a little harder. Up and over, Ooh, ankles together, and then roll down and press. Ooh. Good, that's a lot of work to make space on that side through the waist and hip of the working leg. So don't let that get compressed. Woo, in and down. Okay, one more, so close. Then we get our stretch. Open and lift, curl, whoop, smack the stopper and then down. All right, you guys, lift your strap leg, foot bar on with the other foot. And then you just find whatever stretch you need. If that's holding one or kind of gently working in and out of the stretch. You can feel free to bend your knee to get up a little higher in the hamstring. Good, now grab the rope and pull the leg to the outside. And then pass, go to the other side. So this bottom leg is really kind of the dictator of how much stretch the other leg gets. So use it to get more or less. Whew. All right, okay, hang that strap up. Roll over and come on up. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked that little cardio reformer advanced athletic workout. Uh, if you did, please give it a like. Uh, comment down below if you have any feedback or ideas for future videos. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this video with a friend and I'll see you next time. Bye.